Hi, I'm Don. And I'm Ron. We're UniquePerts.com and we've got something so fantastic we have to show you. And everyone that has a classic Volkswagen can use this product. And Ron, would you like to show everybody this product? Uh, yes, I would. And you'll see it. I have it in front of me right now. And we call this the Smart Brake Light Switch. It's an electrical switch now that operates off of your brake. Something that is new, it's revolutionary. It instantly now, as soon as you touch the brake, it instantly activates the brake stoplight system on your car. No matter where your pedal is at, whether you're down to the floor or you're all the way back, that brake light is on. It's adding a safety feature to your car, which you do not have right now. Well, let's go back and look at what's on the car so everyone can understand exactly what the classic Volkswagen has. Now, what we've done we have a classic Volkswagen behind us here. We've taken a pedal assembly out that's similar to what's in that car, and we've mounted it on this display here. So what I've done, as you'll see, here's a master cylinder in the back. I have a battery hooked up to it, and here's a reservoir. So it's going to function like what you see in the car. Now, the only thing we don't have is the wheel cylinders and also the brake shoes or rotors, whatever you have on your car. But here is, it's all wired up, so I have two electric... Uh, switches here. One goes to the original setup and one goes to the smart brake light system. And we're going to show you how this works. But first of all, this, this is a switch on the back of the master cylinder and it is your brake light switch. And Ron, you can explain a bit more about that. Well, what it is, it, it's using a hot terminal coming in and a hot terminal coming back out. And to activate it, a simple way to explain it is it's using a check ball type of a system and once pressure is applied to the system, which takes about 30 pounds, it will activate the circuit so now the electrical current will go all the way back to your brake lights. Now the problem you run into is that the moment you release the pedal, then that uh, fluid pressure is released and now you have no electrical current to the back. When you think it's on, it is not on. Okay, well let's just show everybody how that works. As I mentioned, this is all set up that way. So I have this upper switch right here controls that switch, the original switch on the master cylinder. So I'm going to put some power to that switch. Now when Ron is talking, he's talking about this pedal here. Now, now notice, this, let's turn this this way here so you can see this. Now he's applying pressure to the system here. Now you notice that there, the, this should be coming on, but this is your brake light here. Now, now it comes on. So you see when he applies that pressure, it takes about 30 pounds plus worth of pressure to go ahead and build up inside the, the whole fluid system to transfer the current from one side to the other. Now your stop lights are working. But notice when he takes his hand off the pedal, the light goes out. So you could be sitting at the stop light and you're not under pressure, you're just sitting there and you have your foot on the brake and you think your tail lights are on, or you probably your tail, your brake lights are on, and they're not on. Your brake lights do not work until you mash this pedal down. Okay, now that shows you the, the system that's on your car now, and we're going to tell you why you need to have a smart brake light uh, assembly on your car. Okay, now as we talked about earlier, it's an electrically operated switch. Now this is an original brake light switch. And uh, all the cars today that are produced have gone to electric switches because of that problem with the hydraulic pressure here. And just another example, if you lose pressure in the system, say your master cylinder goes completely out, you're stomping on the pedal to the floor, you have no brake lights. If your wheel cylinder goes out, you lose pressure anywhere in that system, you can mash that pedal to the floor trying to build the pressure up, and you're not going to have any uh, brake lights, no stop lights for anybody to see behind you. Okay, let's, let's show you where this mounts at now. As Ron is showing this up here, I'm just going to take off, we have a protective cover. Let me just turn this this way. You might be able to get a better view from this side right here. We have a protective cover that goes over this uh, smart brake light switch assembly here. So it protects it from dust or moisture. And this shows you what it looks like right here. Now, we already went through and discussed how this works with the old system. Now, let me show you how this works with the electric switch. So I'm gonna take the power off of the original setup and we'll put power onto the new right here. Now, Ron, just press that pedal lightly. Notice that. 
The moment that he puts his foot on the brake pedal, the light is coming on. And it doesn't come off until he releases that pedal completely. So you can see the benefit of that. Just visualize another scenario. You're on the freeway and you're going the maximum speed and somebody's coming up on you really fast and the only way you can signal him to slow down or you're, that you're in front of him you're going to have to mash your pedal. You're starting to slow down rapidly and he's still coming on. Where now, just like modern cars today, you just touch this pedal and your stop lights are coming on. Now let's show you a little bit more about the system here. And you can jump in anytime yeah. too, Ron. Well, let me, let me, we talked about the switch. This is what it looks like. And it mounts onto a special made bracket that fits exactly where the master cylinder bolts are at on each side. So to install it, basically you're just pulling the two master cylinder bolts out and now you're mounting this plate back where it uh, should be where the master cylinder is at. Once you do that, then you're going to go ahead and install your, your switch in here and get it all set. But the intricate part of this whole system is right here. Now we call it a swing arm assembly and you'll notice that I'm going to kind of show it to you in, in, in a little bit more detail but the arms have been timed so what it's going to do is it's going to go ahead and touch the electrical switch but then it's also going to touch an activator which we have installed on the brake push rod. Now I'm going to just put it back together here and it'll just show you. This is how it will look and this is how the arm is going to attach to it on this side right here and then it will hit the switch when you're moving it so that way the current will now be pushed back to the uh, brake in the back. Yeah, I'm going to show them just from this side over here that and, angle of how that's going to work. And then you'll see how it, from this side right here, you'll see exactly how that works. It's uh, off of the brake push rod. We call it the actuator. Uh, this is the key component. We're using all the same German stock equipment that came with the car. All we're doing is adding an actuator. So you just have to go ahead and just screw out the rod, screw it back in together, now set it back into place and you're set from there. Now let me show you right here, if you can get a better eye on this right here, you can just see the components that Ron was talking to you about. Here's the switch, here is the swing arm assembly right here, and here is the actuator right here. It's an interlocking actuator. So if you can just get a little visual on that, you can see the moment I move that pedal, the swing arm is moving with the actuator there and the light is going to come on. So it'll come on and stay on. So uh, that's a major benefit right there. So the assembly comes complete with uh, everything that you need for a bolt on. It takes about two hours to bolt on. You have the bracket, you have the wiring harness, and then you have all the components necessary. And we even threw in some of these master cylinder, these barrels that go into the pan here. And that's really important that these be installed with the saddle. Okay? And this just shows you what comes in the kit right here. The wire connectors, a couple of sheet metal screws. Because what we've done here too is, uh, Ronnie, you want to point that I'll out there? That right right there. Yeah, once you have mounted it back into position where the master cylinder bolts are, are set, what you want to do is you want to drill a hole here, and you want to drill one right there, and you want to install some sheet metal screws, which we do provide for you. So that way, every time you pull the master cylinder out or you do anything in this area, this will always be in the position where it's supposed to be. And these barrels that Don was talking about will always be lined up back where they were. So it will make an easy installation if you have to change the master cylinder anytime into the field. We talked about the switch in the back. We want you to leave those wires intact because that is your factory unit. We have uh, now with the wiring harness, we have now made it where all you have to do is just tie into that system. So now you're going to have the original and then now you're going to have the smart brake light system. And the wiring harness is long enough to be able to connect it to the terminals up inside the trunk area. Now let me just show you this. We have the smart brake light system on here. Now we're going to put the original system on and you're going to see that it's all going to work in conjunction together. You have now on this system here, you have two switches, the hydraulic and also the electric. So this is, we've also made it available, you might want to discuss this list too, yeah. is that now we have product available for the 
Uh, this is the 58 to 66 model we have here. That would be this one right here. That we were just talking about. We also As Ron mentioned, all those components are the original components, so we're not supplying these items here. We're just supplying the interlocking actuator that goes onto those products. And this is for the 70, uh, 67 to 79. You get your actuator here. And then for the olds, from 53 on up to 57, this would be your actuator here. So we've covered all the bases on all the cars that are out there. It's a system that is needed and what we did even too is we even added a dust shield that goes on top of the, the uh, smart brake light so that way it protects the, the terminals from moisture, dust, and components. So we've thought of everything and it's something that everyone really needs to have on their car to be safe protect their family, their investment, and their lives. So look into this. Go to our website, uniqueparts.com. It's on a limited availability basis. You need to get yours now. And just show them the kit, the way it comes together right here too. This is the way it's packaged. So you have everything in there, all these components, the wiring harness, uh, the smart brake light. So go smart. Go to uniqueparts.com and go to the Samba and you can see more information about this amazing product.